Hey guys, it's Josh, and Jonas is here too, finally, in one of these videos, and we are back with another episode of Nelson Tether's Puzzle Agent. Episode 4, as it happens. Last time, we had quite a bit of stuff happen involving the, the hidden people. And we chase them to this this lodge where they stole some gears as from or some gear pieces from something we were trying to assemble. So now door to the lodge is locked. It seems to be your standard locking device. A lock. Maybe a deadbolt. <laughs> oh my god, that's... Wow. Okay, yeah, thanks, Nelson. Hmm, the door's still locked. Okay, sure. Anyway, straight into the puzzle. Tracking trouble. Once again, it's a, a log arranging puzzle. On the way to the factory, you have, which is down there, you have to go across every single gear piece. Ah, trying to stop looking my e e earbud cable. Oh, that's gross. I'm just blame weird as well. All right. So One here, one here, one here, 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 and here. Hang on. Yep. 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 Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Yes. 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 Oh, it's the ice fishing hearts. <clears throat> gotcha. One of those things stole the last piece I need to get into the factory. Looks like it's headed toward the lake. Bjorn's people may try to protect it, I'm not sure. Either way, I'm getting that piece back.
Well, that's suspicious. This really isn't it. Huh. Lori. Hey, let me out. You don't understand. The hidden people need Isaac. I don't know why, but you have to let him go with them. I'm not going to let you people keep him locked up in a factory like fate. I'm sorry. Oh Jesus. That's not good. I got to get out of here. Okay, so This one. a close call. What the heck happened here, Agent Chathers? Sheriff Bob, Glory Dabner tried to kill me. Come on, Chathers. You sure that sweet little girl? Sheriff, I swear, she is not as innocent as she looks. Okay, I'll go find her and ask her a few questions. You stay out of trouble now. Can't do that, unfortunately. I like my office. It's warm in my office. It's quiet in my office. There are no maniacal gnomes or chainsaw-wielding waitresses in my office. <sighs> I need to get back to the lodge, fix that gear, and get the hell out of here. Back to the lodge then. I think that's all the puzzles done that we need to do. I mean, it looks right. Oh, he's gone. Okay, let's get this gear back together. So, just an FYI, this puzzle is a point of no return. If you haven't... And if there are still some puzzles that you haven't solved yet, do not solve this puzzle. Yeah. Um, okay. 
Once you solve this puzzle, you will not get another chance to... ...solve any of the optional puzzles that you haven't done yet. At least... ...until you finish the story. Once you, once the credits roll, any the puzzles you have left undone, you'll be able to finish. That was fairly simple. I can't let you go. You just don't come into our town and pretend you know how everything works. I think I'm starting to figure it out. Sheriff's as crooked as they come. Looks like he's sabotaged my snowmobile. Huh. All right, well... This one's actually quite easy as far as puzzles go because, especially in-game puzzles, because this has a border. I'm with the FBI, Department of Puzzle Research. If you're still in there, don't worry. I'm coming in to rescue you. Oh. Okay. So the yellow gear... makes up six of the outside teeth. So that should look like that. Mm -hmm. 
The blue one goes in between them. And then the... And then this one goes... Okay, sure. It's a gear. Well, looks like we're going to finish the game this episode after all. Yeah, follow the cable holding up the giant eraser. If you follow it correctly, it should lead you to number eight. We're almost there. Hmm. 
Huh, another junk and another jigsaw type puzzle. Okay. So first apron in this corner. Right there. Goggles next to it. It's slash right below. Saw here. Statue head and safety brochure there. Ah, no, I just want you to move these things so I can. See what else I'm dealing with. Fan over here. Skog sign there. Phew, let's click to the Okay, the sword does not go there, th thankfully it's this, there. This goes up here. This over here. And these two here. Well guys, this next puzzle is it. Almost there. This is literally the last puzzle in the story of the game. Well, the storyline of the game. Okay, so, following rules. You cannot let any... Now, if a platform, which of these is three here below, one, two, and th I'm labeled one, two, and three, the platform comes into an ob comes into contact with an obstacle such as bins. It will be and it will just be prevented from moving. However, if it comes into contact with if one of the bear traps, that platform will be destroyed and well, it's a failure. So. Up, up, no, Okay, sure, yeah. Up. 
up right up left up yeah no up up right up up right so dink 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 so it can't go a okay so up up right up up right up left up 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 so up up right up up right up left up 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 And we are done. Perfect command line. Let's get this. Let's face. Let's get this office door open. That's it. Let's get out of here.
Well, guys, there's really not a whole lot to say about this. That was a whole bunch of things that happened. Um, hmm. So where to start? Well, what exactly happened to Isaac Devner? I can't answer that because of spoilers. But it's definitely got something to do with the hidden people. And honestly, it's pretty unexpected. Although it also, and although it also means that one and puzzle from earlier in this game will, will make sense in the context of the sequel where it did not make sense in this one. Uh, secondly, yes, after completing in the game, you can go, you can use this option to go back and repeat and replay any you missed and anything you've missed, so any side puzzles, was well, basically anything from G negative gnomes and negative gnomes down to. Dies and dishes except for changing chairs and rearranging rations, both of which are actually required. And rearranging rations is required to get Glory's attention and during the and when you first enter the a uh, diner and. Changing chairs is required to get the hint about the lodge. Um, after completing the game, you cannot go back and re-explore Scoggins, which is kind of a pity because it's beautiful, a little town. And it'd be really cool to actually just sort of wander around, but I suppose it makes sense at the same time because, I mean, the case has been solved, so Tethers has no real reason to be there. I mean, honestly, other than that, he's just gonna, he's really just gonna 
sit here all the time now trying to do his crossword at puzzles, so... Which is kind of sad in a way. Um... Okay. Uh, third... Good thing. The... The man behind the creation of... This... Game... Graham Annabelle... has had, and has actually had quite a detailed, well he's got quite a detailed um, portfolio of work really. He's classically trained, Death and uh, Graham Annabelle is classically trained as a an animator from Sheridan and College in Oakville in Ontario. Canada, of course. Uh, worked in worked at LucasArts for ten years, starting in 1994 on Full Throttle, and ultimately as a lead am animator on the cancelled Sam and Max Freelance Police. Not to be confused with the adventures of Sam and Max Freelance Police. As which is the TV series is based on the games. Uh, in addition, he has also done illustration and cartoon work for, among others, Chuck Jones, the he man behind most of the early the Looney Tunes. And one of the cartoonists that's behind most of the the and the classic like, Looney Tunes cartoons as well as numerous other Warner Brothers his characters. Nickelodeon and Walt Disney Productions. He is also a, and he also has self-produced several short animated films on YouTube. Uh, and was employed as creative director at Telltale Games during the first year or in 2004. He has been in the storyboard artist on Coraline, Paranorman, Kubo and the Two Strings, and Missing Link. He was the co-director of The Box Straws from 2014, and he was a clean-up artist on the 1995 classic A Goofy Movie. In 2002 he was, was nominated for the Harvey Award for Best New Talent and in 2015 he was as the and he got a nomination for the Box Trolls for an Academy Award. Better known, obviously, as the Oscars. He has also created several other, and he has also published several comic books. 
the Grickle a Grickle published by Alternative Comics, and he is one of the founders of the Hickey Humor Anthology, also published by Alternative Comics. So anyway, um, well, I don't really think there's much else to say in this situation. Um, the story. Stop sharpening your pencil, Nelson. Otherwise, it's gonna and uh, not be sharpenable anymore. Um, as I was saying, there's not really much else to say right now. This was actually a lot shorter than I expected it to be as a series. I mean. Um, yeah, it's sort of pleasantly short if you know what you're doing for each puzzle. I did my best to make this both informative and interesting, so please, I love feedback, so definitely let me know whether you enjoyed it or not. Um... <sighs> for the last time, for this Let's Play anyway, if you've enjoyed the video, a like rating is very much appreciated. Hit the subscribe button down below to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you have already subscribed, but you haven't been receiving notifications, then click the bell icon down below. Stop interrupting my outro, or Nelson. Share the video with your friends if you think they might enjoy my content. Leave a comment down below. And my Facebook, Twitter and Discord information are as usual in the description box down below. Alright, with that done, Jonas and I see you guys in... Well, in a bit, for something different. Something a bit more action-packed, definitely. It'd be nice to play a bit of point-and-click, but... Action is... Good. Anyway... Uh, probably next time we'll play a couple more... I'm probably... Between now and my next... Next Let's Play, we'll play a car... I know. We'll play another trilogy of Carmel games, so keep an eye out for those. There's sometime in the next. Well, sometime in the next while. Anyway, Jonas and I see you guys next time. Until then, Josh and Jonas. Yeah.